loss because they are going to be at the Isle of Wight Festival 2021. John Giddings joins us. He's the man who puts it all together. Morning, John. Good morning, Paul. How are you? I am good. More to the point, though, how are you? Well, I'm... I'm OK. I wish I was there promoting a festival as we speak, but this is the second best thing to announce the festival for next year. We're very happy with our lineup. I think it's even better than the lineup we had this year, actually. I think it's absolutely great. I mean, you've got Lionel Richie, Lewis Capaldi, Pete Tong, Becky Hill uh, on Friday. Uh, and also, um, also, I noticed added to the list is um, Jess Glynn. Hey? That's absolutely correct. Third absolutely time a charm. Absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Life is too short. The pandemic has made that obvious to all of us. Come on down. She wanted to do it. You know, what else can you say? I think that is great. And I think you're right. I think people's views have definitely changed that life is too short. So you probably want to go and buy a festival ticket from Monday. That's when they go on sale, isn't it? Yeah, Monday morning. OK, so uh, we have pretty much uh, a kind of festival that shifted from this year to next year with a few added bits and pieces. But what's it like for you? Because for the last, you know, decade and a bit, you have been on the Isle of Wight with the Isle of Wight Festival this weekend pretty much every year. So what are you doing this weekend? We've got to drive up to Durham to um, collect our daughter's belongings because she had to do her finals from home on the internet and um, we've got to clear out the house. <laughs> really? Not the normal yes. festival weekend, yeah. though? We're driving to Durham, but not to check my eyesight. <laughs> OK. Are, are you going to be... Driving back, we have to drive back the same day. We can't stay the night. Are you going to be, uh, are you going to be driving up there in a golf buggy just to try and, you know... <laughs> Yeah, it would take slightly longer, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. So which of the acts that you've got for 2021 are you really looking forward to seeing? I mean, obviously you're going to say all of them, but if, the, if you could pick one or two. Actually, I'm really looking forward to seeing Carly Rae Jepsen. I think she'll be fantastic. Yeah. I, I, that's a particular choice of mine. You see, I'd never have you down as a Carly Rae Jepsen fan. And um, hang on. And Mavis Staples, you see she's playing the big top on the um, Sunday. Yes, tell us more about her. Well, she's, I mean, if you look her up on the internet, she's a fantastic artist. It's going to be a brilliant night where you could, people are going to be running between the main stage and the big top. I mean, it is a great lineup as always. It's such a shame it didn't happen this year. But, you know, I think, you know, a year of rest and then back to it for next year. Uh, when tickets go on sale, what time do they go on sale on Monday, John? 9 at 9 a.m. on Monday morning. OK, and where can you get them from? You can get them from all ticket agents. The Price is Right, Ticketmaster. Brilliant. Uh, John, uh, I hope you have a good weekend. I mean, not the same kind of weekend uh, as you were probably expecting to have. But uh, next time you do get down to the island, you will hopefully be able to, you know, subject to social distancing and everything, pop in and see us because it seems like ages. Yeah, I'll sit the other side of the desk, definitely. Well, I'm not allowed to come down there and stay, am I? I have no, to stay at home. Not Go yet. Yeah, exactly. Very soon, we hope. Yeah, Very let, soon. Let's hope so. Uh, John, thank you so much for sparing the time to pop on the show this morning. And uh, all the list of all of the acts on our website right now, Monday morning. We'll put a link on there as well for how you can buy your ticket. Because, uh, you know, what would the life be like on the Isle of Wight without the Isle of Wight Festival? It, 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 is, it is weird. I mean, we're all sat here, John, today playing songs from the big memories that we've had from the Isle of Wight Festival. So uh, I think we're going to continue that on Isle of Wight Radio throughout the weekend. And, of course, Sky Arts are spending the whole weekend, aren't they, reliving some of the best bits? Yeah, we've talked the artists into giving us the rights to do one more broadcast on Sky Arts and on Absolute Radio in London. And um, there's a great reaction to it all. Everybody's really happy with it. So it'll give us all the vibe. Well, have a lovely weekend driving up and down the motorway and uh, we will catch up with you soon. Thanks, Paul. Have a jolly good weekend. I'll speak to you next week. Cheers. Thanks ever so much. Cheerio. Bye-bye. There you go. That is John Giddings, the man behind the Isle of Wight Festival. Let's play one of his favourite acts, shall we?